we would only endorse new overdose prevention sites if they have a clear plan to provide attached treatment services. UCP leader Jason Kenney giving his plan on how his party would combat the opioid crisis, and that plan puts the brakes on any new supervised consumption sites for now. We would consult with local communities, police, municipalities, and others on the location of existing sites to determine if they are optimal or if better locations could be found that would reduce the impact of crime, discarded needles, and other negative social and economic impacts on local neighborhoods. We have to um, validate community concerns. Um, and in fact, the best ways to decrease any kind of social problems that might come around focused um, harm reduction services is to provide more harm reduction services in more geographical areas um, such that it doesn't become a hub of any activity um, that people might find um, dysfunctional. The NDP is saying they are on board with more sites. I will say the answer is not to somehow walk away from safe injection sites because in fact, or safe consumption sites, because that is how you reduce deaths from the opioid crisis. Kenny's opioid plan also includes an investment of $10 million a year to a new opioid dependency program, but Dr. Varani says he still doesn't display enough knowledge of the crisis. There was no mention in his announcement around harm reduction, around the role of safe supply of um, opioids and, and um, other substances. Uh, and that uh, unfortunately demonstrates a poorer understra understanding than we ought to have in our leadership, um, who ostensibly is taking this major public health crisis seriously. In Calgary, Kendra Fowler, City News.